Hello and welcome to What's on the Shelf. I'm your host, Jen, and today we have an exciting unboxing of Hocus Pocus the Card Game. Yes, we are just around the corner from Halloween, and this baby just came in courtesy of a friend of ours from the States. Uh, you can currently pick this up at Target in the States. Uh, unfortunately, there is no release date in Canada right now, to my knowledge. But this is something I had to get, so my friend was very nice enough to send it to me with, uh, with while shipping it here. So the cool thing about this game is it's shaped like the book from Hocus Pocus. I've already pre-removed um, the stickers because it would have been hard to remove them on camera. So <laughs> here's the back of the, the game box. This is done by Ravensburger. It's good for ages eight and up, plays two to six players, and plays in about 60 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes, excuse me. Uh, so let's see here. It says, the black flame candle has been lit. Now the S Sanderson sisters, which is, uh, you must outwit. Oh, it's actually rhymes. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> the black flame candle has been lit. Now the Sanderson, Sanderson witches you must outwit, or with a wretched evil potion, a foul spell they'll set in motion. Stun the witches and ruin the brew before the sun can rise anew. I love it. So it looks like there's different, like, there's potion components and everything. Let's take a look inside the box and see what we've got. And as you would expect, it opens up like a book. So there's the instructions which don't seem very long. Let's see. Not at all. Let's see what else they've got in here. And I believe there's a Salem sticker as well. Oh no, the board got wrecked coming in. Oh well. That happens sometimes with board games. So you've got the Sanderson sisters and a tracker for the moon coming up and the sun rising. You've got what looks like to be the potion board. So let's open that up over here. Ah, okay, so here's the cauldron for the potion. On that one part that's damaged is okay. I could probably fix that with a little bit of glue. Then you have some cards here. You've got little components here. And of course you gotta have the black cat. So let's take a look at the cards themselves. They're in a little Ziploc bag, so they're nice to just pop out. Ooh, and the quality of the cards are nice, too. Come, little children. Everyone will remember that song from the beginning of the movie. The time comes to play here is in my garden of magic. Players cannot ask for information until another spell is cast. Ooh. So let's take a quick look. So these are... Uh, okay, so there's two sets of cards. There's these back cards, which looks like take flight their actions the Sanderson sisters take. I smell a child, the children. Whoop. Run amok. <laughs> awesome. Dance till you're dead. Oh, I love that scene in the movie. A calming circle. Green lightning. And then I believe, yeah, these should be the potion components. So there's different things. Dead man's toe. Da, 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 dead man's toe. Jash, dash of pox. Oh, and there's different colors too. Thine own tongue. Newt. Okay, so you might have to do something with color combinations to try and mess up the potion very cool and then let's see the last component here uh 
so we have what looks like to be some kind of tracker. This is the sunrise tracker for sure. Then we have different characters, it seems like. So you have Billy, do not play any ingredients. You have Burning Rain of Death, discard three ingredients. Daylight Savings. <laughs> I love how they're taking key moments from the movie and making them into things. Circle of Salt. Discard a spell. All right. So we will definitely be playing this fairly soon. I'm sure I can get quite a lot of people here to play this particular game, especially with Halloween just around the corner. So that's everything in the box, guys, and we'll catch you next time at the table. Bye.